คนนี้Hi everyone, my nickname is Banana. I am a professional Tekken player from Spain, and I am a several times tournament winner in my country. I've been placing quite high in the last European offline tournaments, and I am also a Metafy coach. Today we are here to talk about Facum Ram, but before so, make sure to subscribe to Dash Fight and check their website for all things FGC. แกนะมีเหตุผลที่ต้องสู้หรือเปล่าใช่ so that being said we can start talking about Facum Bram um, before we start talking about uh, Facum Bram main pokes I would like to give a short introduction about the character So um, what I want to say about Facum Ram is that Facum Ram used to be a very very strong character, especially in season three and season four as well. Uh, but due to the last patch, um, Facum Ram became pretty weak, right? So uh, they removed his magic four, for instance. It's not combo anymore, and. Um, Almost all his lows are launch punishable now, right? So if we do down back four, it's minus 15. If we do down four, it's minus 16. If we do down three or down back three, it's minus 16. Um, if we do full crouch down forward, um, down forward three, it's minus 23. And uh, only his down forward three is minus 13. Other than down for a three, all of his lows, or almost all of his lows, are launch punishable. Right, so that makes him very weak. He also has some powerful tools that also got nerfed, like back one, being minus 15 now, or his mid kick, three plus four, being minus 11 now. Also, his um, big boy uppercut, uh, forward, forward, one plus two, being minus 15 as well. Okay, then we can start talking about uh, his pokes. Um, but before that, I would like to mention that um, Falcon Ram's backdash is quite good. Is quite quite good, um, but his sidewalk is not so good. Is quite weak. That's why with uh, Falcon Bram you want a backdash instead. Right. That being said, uh, if we start talking about his pokes, um, we can start talking about his down forward one. Uh, the thing with his down forward one is that it has too many extensions, right? You can do down forward one, down forward one, two. So it, that's a high. So if you want to mix it up, You can do down forward one four. Um, you can even go for down forward two one, down forward one two one. So that's a high crash in case you want to interrupt with jabs. Or even you can go for a sweep. Or you can just go for an elbow after the same transition here. Become Dash Fight supporter on Patreon. Get early access to Dash Fight guides. Click the link in the description. Right, so same thing happens with three, with standing three. As you can see, it hits from very, very far, almost range three. Like, it's super, super good. Um, and you can mix this up. You can do three, one, or just three. Three, one, three, one, four, or three, one, four, four. Actually, if you want to duck the second one, 3-1, you can even, even go for 3-4, which is mid-mid. So you cover a lot, lot of options. That's why Falcon Ram can be very, very annoying. So if this wasn't enough, um, you, can, you can even go for plus frames here, like 3-4-4, which is plus 6. It is a lot. And you can combine it with uh, other pressure tools. Or you can even go for 
holding uh, down 3-4-3-3, three, 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 holding the 3 in the end. Uh, so this is like a charging moves, but we will talk about this later. So you can see there are a lot, a lot of options. That's why Falcon Ram can be very tricky and very annoying at, at the same time. Right. Um, if your opponent wants to walk you, you can go for back forward four. It is a very, very good tool. Um, and it kind of breaks the general Tekken rules. Because this is a launcher, a high one, high launcher. But it is plus so it's a launcher that is plus so that's the perfect move um, you want to combine with the wall running here wall running is plus nine as you can see um, but it can be a uh, step as you see here so that's a move you want to mix it up with back forward four because you cannot step it so it's like the perfect mix up or you can just do both attacks one right after the other one so you can create some pressure Pl plus nine into plus six right so while running as I said it is a excellent tool for pressure but it can be stepped so that's why you have this mix up um, right another good uh, key move from Falcon Ram is a um, down forward 4-3 four, uh, you can wall splat your opponent here uh, it's a mid high so you can duck the high but you have a extension so that is plus one on block uh, on hit uh, you have a forward forward one plus two guaranteed after the knockdown and um, forward forward three is another tool for um, plus frames it comes out at 25 frames uh, it's not the best tool but it is plus 5 so depending on the moment you can also use it um, right forward 3 2 1 is quite good uh, it is minus 5 um, it is mid mid high and you can even try to do the parry afterwards um, on counter hit you can get a full combo here or you can do forward 3 2 uh, 4 which is minus 12 in order to mix the last one in case your opponent is stacking the high here um, it comes out at 17 frames I think it's pretty good and as I'm saying you can get a combo afterwards it's quite quite good you also have back one back one used to be very good uh, before the patch uh, now you have nothing guaranteed afterwards um, but it is a great tool still um, you can just uh, you can have your back one always ready and try to like bait your opponent from this range and then go like this with punish it um, you also have the big boy uppercut as i mentioned before is minus 15 now um they make they made it very very weak um you have um your 15 um frame uh launcher down for two three it is a high uh the second one uh you can also even mix that like that into mid mid of course, if you want to whiff punish, then just go for the combo. But if you want to mix your opponent a little bit, if you think your opponent is going to duck for the high, you can just go for the mid one, down for it to one. <coughs> it's very good. Um, then you also have um, a wall bounce that is very, uh, very good. Um, so if you can see here, it hits from very far. From, it hits from very far and it has a lot of uh, range so that makes it very very good um, it is safe on block so that means you can like sort of spam it at the wall is it is minus seven so it is very good and you can see the distance 
very good distance here. There we are. Right. Um, there are some homing moves from Falcon Ram that are also very good. One of them is back three. Is is high. It is minus seven. It used to be a combo in counter hit uh, in season three, but they nerfed it. But it is it is a very good move. You can see. Uh, it's a big kick. Uh, big boy kick um, almost from range 3 so you can guys see uh, that Falcon Ram can really control uh, the distance right with 3 or back 3 or other moves like other moves like this um, 3 plus 4 it is a good um, counter hit catcher especially from from uh, some distance like this uh, it is minus 11 on block but still pretty pretty good to use from time to time in your matches and that's pretty much it as I'm saying with Falcon Ram you have to control the distance here aside from uh, back 3 um, which is a homing move you also have a forward forward 4 it is also homing and um, it hits from very very far uh, it comes out at 22 frames uh, it is minus 13 but very hard to punish um, when you do forward forward 4 um, You can like sort of change it into a transition. So if, if you press 3 after forward forward 4 You can go and do the sweep straight or This mid here. Oh By the way, I forgot. Did you know that Falcon Ram's down jab is an elbow? Yeah, so that means it can't be low period. Uh, it doesn't come out at 10 frames comes out at 12 but it is super useful some people use it after down forward one two on block so that means they are in minus three and after that they go for down two yeah it's minus nine of course but very useful it can't be low period so once you make your opponent's uh, threat to press a button after his pressure like after his while running three his back forward four then is when you want to use um, his charged moves are called his charged moves are uh, some moves some very unique moves with uh, very unique features from the game that only Falcon Ram has um, so these moves they do break uh, your opponent's guard if you don't step or if you don't um, interrupt them um, you're gonna get caught so especially at the wall you can get this wall splat for free basically and continue the combo here freely um, so these moves can come out um, after back two you can like do back to one or back to charged one then is when you can get uh, the wall splat here so it is a mix up because if you try to interrupt uh, this charged move because you think it's coming um, you can get hit by back to one some people can react to this move to the uh, holding one uh, but it is very hard so I would consider it as a uh, mix up especially in rank match or online um, other than that uh, you can even do like three four three three and hold the last one um, you can even do this as well um, and that's it um, you can like um, these moves can come out after uh, different moves um, or even after this so it's pretty useful um, as I'm saying uh, when your when your opponents are very afraid of your pressure, then is when you is when you want to use these charged moves. They're gonna be they're gonna work very well, especially against you know those players that become very afraid after some pressure. Uh, yeah, it's very very useful and it's something very unique of the game and very unique from Falcon Bram. Oh yeah, and Falcon Bram has two different parries. He has the normal pe punch parry. Um, if you manage to land it, it's gonna be you're gonna get a whole combo, as you can see here. But be careful because on block, if you don't land it, 
that's going to be minus 17. So that means um, you're going to get launched. It, it is uh, a high move as well. Um, it used to be very good again in uh, season 3, but they nerfed it. So make sure to punish it if your opponent doesn't land it. And his other parry is a kick parry. Um, it is a very useful um, tool against Warang especially. You can like cut off his pressure very good. So you can see I can parry the kicks. And you can even wall splat with this parry. So for the combos, I'm gonna show a very simple combo. Uh, it is his best wall carry combo, and it works uh, from all almost all his launchers, and it works on every single character of the game. So the combo is this one. Or you can also do this one. Oh, and you can also input um, your rage drive. Uh, in the same moment, you can input your charged moves. So instead of doing the charged move, you can go for the rage drive. After this, after this. Or after this on block is minus 13 so make sure to punish this so for the wall I would recommend two options so first one is this and second one is this second one uh, gives you more damage um, but sometimes when you are going to end your combo um, is easier to do this instead of the other one so when being in rage uh, you want to use your rage drive um, this way after 3 1 in forgotten realm you can even like break the floor and continue the combo for more damage when being in rage, I do recommend using uh, rage art instead of rage drive because it doesn't make much sense to use rage drive instead. You can just use the rage art and save your rage drive in case you're you're finishing a combo at the wall. And that's the combo you want to do um, after the rage drive. And this would be the combo for a Oki situation. So for the wall bounce, uh, this would be the combo in the short range. And in a longer range, this would be the combo. So in a nutshell, um, weaknesses from Falcon Ram would be um, his lows, um, as I mentioned earlier. Um, you can uh, block all his lows, and if you block them, almost all his lows are going to be launch punishable, as you can see here. Um, you got to be aware of his charged moves, especially at the wall, and uh, you got to counter his game. Um, Falcon Bram is one of these uh, characters where you have to beat the player, not the character. That's why you want to guess right after all his mix-ups here. After down forward one, after three, standing three. And you gotta be aware also about um, his poke, uh, his main uh, key moves like this. You want to duck uh, from time to time to check and bait your opponent to do back forward 4-4 four, four. 
and the strengths would be his backdash, very strong, and uh, his pressure, as we've seen all of all over the guide. Um, so those are the things you gotta be aware. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think I've uh, I've done like a sort of mix, and uh, between weaknesses and strengths, and a general conclusion. So yeah, I hope you got it. Well, so I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Um, for more content, you can check my YouTube channel, which is Banana Tekken, or book a lesson with me on Metafy. And um, for all things shown in this video, there is a text version via the link in the description. But yeah, um, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment below of your thoughts, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.